Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. To learn how a gift in your will can leave a legacy of eternal hope and a lasting impact for generations to come, call 1-800-257-296 or visit catholicmission.org.au slash wills. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to another episode of Mass, you at home. At every Mass, of course, we bring our own intentions to the altar. But let's all of us as a family include in our intentions today the production of this program. You all know Bishop Brian because of his appearances at the end of every episode, seeking benefactors. There's no greater champion in this country for Mass View at Home than Bishop Brian. So let's cover him in our prayer, his collaborators, that the Lord will reward their labours and bring a lot of fruit. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh, the splendour of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God Glory in the Lord. highest, and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Wisdom has built herself a house. She has erected her seven pillars. She has slaughtered her beasts, prepared her wine. She has laid her table. She has dispatched her maidservants and proclaimed from the city's heights. Who is ignorant? Let him step this way. To the fool, she says, come and eat my bread. Drink the wine I have prepared. Leave your folly and you will live. Walk in the ways of perception. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Be very careful about the sort of lives you lead, like intelligent and not like senseless people. This may be a wicked age, but your lives should redeem it. And do not be thoughtless, but recognise what is the will of the Lord. Do not drug yourselves with wine. This is simply dissipation. Be filled with the Spirit. Sing the words and tunes of the psalms and hymns when you are together, and go on singing and chanting to the Lord in your hearts, so that always and everywhere you are giving thanks to God, who is our Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. All who eat my flesh and drink my blood live in me and I in them, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. Then the Jews started arguing with one another. How can this man give us his flesh to eat, they said. Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, if you do not eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life in you. Anyone who does eat my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life, and I shall raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood lives in me, and I live in him. As I who am sent by the living Father myself draw life from the Father, so whoever eats me will draw life from me. This is the bread come down from heaven. Not like the bread our ancestors ate, they are dead. But anyone who eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Babette's Feast is the first and only movie to be mentioned in the Papal Magisterium. It's one of Pope Francis' favourite films. Babette is a refugee from the French Revolution who finds shelter in a drab Danish village. And there for 14 years, she's cooked to elderly sisters whose puritanical father was the village pastor. But by now, the church is in terminal decline. The parishioners are irritable. Their disputes are vicious. When Babette wins the lottery, she offers them a real French dinner. And the Puritans in this Danish village, they're scandalised by the extravagant menu. They consider it sinful. But they love Babette, so they reluctantly agree. Over the course of the meal, the parishioners delight in the food and the wine. And by the end of the feast, they're filled with joy and gratitude. Rifts are healed. Christian charity is renewed. In citing this film, Pope Francis writes, Since we were made for love, there is no greater joy than that of sharing good things. Think of the lovely scene in Babette's Feast when the generous cook receives a grateful hug and prays. Ah, how you will delight the angels. It is a joy and consolation to bring delight to others. So why do I mention all this? You may have noticed already, all of today's readings evoke the theme of feasting. The first reading, wisdom has laid her table Come and eat my bread. Drink the wine I have prepared. The psalm, 
taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The second reading, sing when you are together. Go on singing and chanting to the Lord in your hearts. And of course, today's gospel, I am the living bread come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. All of this serves to remind us in the Christian life, feasting is as important as fasting. In Lent, we fast for 40 days. In Easter, we feast for 50. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us place our needs before our God, who is our help and strength. That in the midst of the non-believers, the church will be a potent sign of Christ. In your goodness, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That peoples who long for liberation will be set free from injustice and oppression. In your goodness, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those who struggle daily with alcohol and other addictive drugs will be filled with the peace of the Holy Spirit. In your goodness, Lord, hear our prayer. Generous God, with the promise of eternal life, you invite us to the table you have prepared. Hear our prayers, that we who taste the bread of heaven will work for the coming of your kingdom. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. 
By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but to deliver us, us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, that my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven. 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Hi, I'm Bishop Brian Mascord. I invite you to consider how you might support Mass for You at Home in 2024. Last year was a hard one for so many people, and despite the incredible generosity of our donors, we fell well short of our fundraising target. If you are a regular viewer, I invite you to consider giving weekly or monthly, or maybe you can give a significant one-off contribution or consider including Mass for You at Home in your will. Please continue to pray that we will be able to keep the Mass on Australian television beyond 2024. Be assured of my prayers for you and your loved ones.